DistroKid is a music distribution service that allows you to get your music out there to the world. You can release an unlimited amount of songs, EPs, and albums for just one subscription. In this week's Studio Live Today podcast, I'm going to tell you 10 cool features, some you may know about, some you may not know about, of DistroKid. So if you're already a DistroKid subscriber, then this might give you a few little aha moments where you're like, I didn't know you could do that. And if you're not already a DistroKid subscriber, maybe it'll make you think, I should probably sign up. Speaking of which, if you do want to sign up to DistroKid, you can use the link that's down in the description here or just go to studiolivetoday.com slash distrokid. I've got a complete fact there, frequently asked questions and a whole bunch of information, including a 7% discount on your first year on any DistroKid plan. So... Let's start by just defining, what is a distributor? A distributor helps you get your music out there to Spotify, Apple Music, Deezer, Amazon, Tidal, all the places. And the cool thing about DistroKid is you subscribe and then you can release an unlimited amount. And for those watching the video version here, I'm scrolling through all of the songs, EPs and albums that I've released. I've done over 50 releases with DistroKid over the last six years. So it is a very cool service and it's great to just get your music out there to the world. So I love it because instead of you having to say my music's in this place and if you go to this link, you'll find my music. You just say, if you search Pete Johns on any platform... And they go to literally hundreds of places, all of the usual suspects, but also hundreds of different places. And you can actually increase the number of places that older things go to, which is a little uh, spoiler of something we're going to talk about a little bit later. So we're going to go through 10 features here. Some of these are super useful. Some of them are just gosh darn fun. So let's get started. Number one is the vault. Now, I love the DistroKid vault. What is the DistroKid vault? Well, the cool thing is when you release your music with DistroKid, you, they keep a copy of your master. Have you ever been in that situation where you're like, I don't know where that mastered version of that file is. I know where my mixed version is, or maybe you've got multiple files and you're like, which one did I actually release? Well, if you go here into DistroKid and you go into the protect your music section, you can dive into your vaults. It's free, unlimited backups of your files. So in alphabetical order, you've got folders here. It's like free file storage for every single release you've ever ever put out on DistroKid. So if I'm sitting here going, I know, I know I've got my Master of Murdering Time somewhere, my song, but I don't know where it is, I can dive into DistroKid and download the full high-resolution audio file directly from my vault. So if, like me, you're a bit forgetful and a bit disorganized of where you put your files when you're releasing them, DistroKid gotcha covered in a big bad way. Number two, this is great when you've just released a song, and funnily enough, I've just released a song. I've just released my new song called Choices, and uh, it's my song, Temba Song, where we do a challenge, a song in a month challenge. And if I want to start promoting this, there's a really cool thing in here called Hyper Follow. If we scroll down for those on the video version, or if you're playing along at home, go to your distro kid, scroll down to Hyper Follow, and you can visit your Hyper Follow page. And here's the cool thing. You can customize this page to have whatever you want on there. You can have a little preview of the audio. You can have your album artwork on there. You can change that up. You can put a profile here, and you can put a bunch of links. The cool thing is that you can link to not only your Spotify and your Apple Music and your Tidal and all those other places, you can link out to your own Bandcamp, you can link to your own web page, you can link to wherever you want to. It's all there and it's all available on the one page and then you can share that out. So like I said before, instead of you having to go, uh, where, how do people get to my music? They go to that one place, they go to that one hyper follow and you can even do cool things like I do, which is redirect your own website. For instance, I've got PeteJohns.com and if I go there, PeteJohns.com, then it's going to take me to my DistroKid artist page where it's got all of my DistroKid information all in the one spot. So it's a super handy feature if you are using DistroKid and if you want to uh, get your music shared out to the world. 
Next up, we got some. I did mention there'd be some fun ones here. We've got mini videos, so little promotional videos that we can use here on DistroKid. Again, it's probably going to be a podcast you're going to want to jump over to Studio Live today on YouTube and watch the video version because we'll be demonstrating these. But for those on audio, I'm going to talk about them as well. So we're going to dive in here and we're going to go down to the Promote Yourself section and jump into mini videos. These are great because when you're trying to promote a brand new song on social media, you need something visual, don't you? You can't just use the audio and these provide you with these little videos that are either vertical or they're a, a nice square video here that can actually be shared on things like TikTok and Instagram and wherever the kids are hanging out these days. So it's as simple as selecting from one of the really cool designs there, picking what song you want it to be, and then you can adjust the start time, you can adjust your album artwork, you can adjust the little text that goes on there. And then all you need to do is hit the generation button and it goes away and generates a video. I've done a heap of these and they're really cool for when you want to share your stuff, when you want to get your music out there and you want to share it in a visual way, whether it's on YouTube or it is or Instagram or any other place. So uh, a very cool thing, the mini videos there. Let's go back to some really, really useful ones. I mentioned this at the front, I teased it, and that is the ability to actually add more stores. So you can see here that there's, if you're watching the visual version, there's a bunch of little icons showing where all of these songs have been released to. But if I go back into my previous releases, they've gone to less places. The reason for that is that DistroKid are constantly updating. They're always out there trawling the internet, not trolling, but trawling the internet, finding new places to share your music to. So if you have an older release, so I've jumped in here to my release called Time McFlyers, and you actually want to find out, hey, is it everywhere it possibly could be? You can actually dive in and add more stores. So you can go into your releases, you can jump down and go to the add more stores, and there's additional options. So for, for this particular release, there are one, two, three, four, five different stores, different streaming services. Now, have I heard of many of these? No, but might as well I be there. What if what if Flow or Jokes or Kuak become the next big streaming platforms? I want to be there, right? So I can add my stuff there and I can add these songs and they'll get submitted and sent out to different stores. There is a way to actually do that in an automated way. You can actually pay DistroKid to do that. However, this is just free and you can do it yourself. So you can just jump in there, keep an eye on your music and then dive back in and see, are there any places that my previously previously released songs haven't gone to? And maybe you'll just go in there and add them in as well. Let's go to our next one, number five. This is splits. So splits are super cool because when you're collaborating with someone and when you're doing a song where someone else is actually contributing to it, you can actually separate that out. So if they are a DistroKid user as well and you are as well and you've got someone like, say, Jade Starr who plays drums on many of my tracks, including this track. And I've been a bit remiss because my latest song called Choices I don't have Jade Star added. So it's as simple to do this as jumping into your release, hitting the edit splits button here, and then adding a collaborator. Now, if you've already collaborated with someone on a track, you can simply select them from a drop down list there, or you can add them in. And here's the cool thing even if they're not already a DistroKid user, you can actually add them in here and they'll get a pretty decent discount on their DistroKid plan. You hit the button there, it sends that user an email, and then they're able able to start recuperating a portion of those royalties. So it's really cool because if you're a part of a band or if you're collaborating with an artist and you're creating beats, say, and someone's uh, rapping on your beats, uh, your fire beat can get 60% and maybe your rapper gets 40 or maybe you're not that generous, but you can decide. You can put in whatever amounts you want there and split it to your heart's content. It just makes it really easy using DistroKid. We're at the halfway point of this one, folks. And again, don't forget that if you are interested in DistroKid, you can sign up using my promo code, which is in the description of the video here. Or you can simply go to studiolivetoday.com slash DistroKid for all of the information I have about DistroKid because there's a whole lot more I can do. We're doing 10 things here today. I could probably do 100 things. That's how awesome DistroKid is and how much 
I love them. We talked about videos. Another way to promote yourself is to use the promo cards. So as well as those mini videos you can generate, you can also generate a promo card. So let's say my new song choices, I want to generate a promo card. Now for those on the audio only version, these are really cool designs that have like new release and distro kit and Spotify, Apple Music, YouTube. They've got all the logos on there. Uh, they've got some cool text and really nice designs. And again, they can be used either in a portrait mode or as a square image uh, for you to actually put out there when you need just a static image. So say you want to talk over the top of it for an Instagram story or you just want a static image to put out there on the Facebooks or wherever you want it to be then that's what you can do. You can use your promo cards and there's a heap of them in here to choose from. Some of them have images that look like CD covers and vinyl records and cassettes. Like they're all pretty old school. I think the distro kid folks might be kind of cool uh, 80s, 90s folks uh, like me and many of the folks around this community because a lot of the designs are kind of cool and kind of old school. And again, because distro kid are constantly changing and updating these images, there's more and more every time. Every time I come in here, there's new features from DistroKid and those new features are always being enhanced and giving you so many different choices and so many things you can do with DistroKid. So promo cards, super good deal. I'm going to talk about one of my favorite things of all time right now, and that is slaps.com. Com. Yeah, slaps.com is a very cool place to go. I can't find, <laughs> can't find it in the list here right now. It is definitely one of these. Here it is, slaps.com. So why, is this a completely different website? Why am I talking about a different website? Slaps.com is created by DistroKid, but it's a free platform. Yeah, even if you're not a DistroKid member, here's one for all the folks who aren't joined up yet, but you're considering it, and that is slaps.com. This is a music sharing and discovery platform. Think of it like SoundCloud or MySpace before they either got too complicated or too gone. Uh, this has a heap of features in here. You can share your own music. You can like and comment on other people's music. You can save their music to a playlist. You can follow other artists. It is a really cool platform and it's great to just throw on and listen to just various different artists and their music. And like I say, they can share for free. You can share for free. The cool thing that Slaps has is something that's kind of like forced community. There's this something called the CTR, the comment to track ratio. And you need to maintain that over five before you can release your own music. So that means for every one song that you put out there on slaps.com in your own profile, you need to actually comment on five other people's songs, which makes it a really cool kind of engaging experience because it means you are kind of forced to get out there and listen to other people's music. But of course, you can at the same time share your own music provided that you do that. And if you're a DistroKid member, you can just use your DistroKid account to log in or once again you can sign up uh, for any uh, for free anyone can sign up for free even if you are not a distro kid member let's go back to distro kid because we're here on slaps.com we'll go back to the the mothership the distro kid mothership and talk about something we're going to get into the fun section here now so there's a heap of useful stuff there for helping to protect your music promote your music enhance your music with distro kid i want to show you some things that are just pure fun and we're going to start with dave Dave's not here, man. No, Dave is here. I love Dave. And uh, there was talk that perhaps they were going to get rid of Dave at some point. What is Dave? Who is Dave? Dave is DistroKid's music analysis AI bot. See, see DistroKid have been doing AI since AI was, before AI was cool. DistroKid are all over it. So what you can actually do is you can ask Dave about your music. And look again, what, what value, what use does this have? Virtually none, except that it's a heck of a lot of fun. So I'm going to throw my brand new track choices in here, and I'm going to hit the next button, and uh, saying Dave's listening to my track, and then Dave will tell us the following. For those that are uh, watching, you'll be able to see this on the screen, but for those on the audio version, I'm going to read what our mate Dave had to say. He says, hi, I'm Dave, DistroKid's AI bot. Let me tell you about Choices by Pete Johns. Choices is three minutes and four seconds long. It is in the key of G minor, and the time signature is four beats per measure. We'll talk about that in a moment. Loudness is minus 12.39 dB, and the tempo is around 153.94 BPM. 
And then it measures your track based on a number of different uh, things. So acousticness, one <laughs> percent. This track isn't acoustic. It's not. It's a it's a rock track. Uh, danceability, thirty nine percent. This track isn't good for dancing. No, it's a rock track. Uh, instrumentalness likely isn't instrumental, so they've detected that I'm singing in there. Energy of 62%. I'm happy with that. The track is energetic. Uh, speechiness, 4%. Probably doesn't contain talking. It doesn't. It's all singing. Uh, liveness, 12%. The track was recorded in a studio, not live. Thank you for calling my arrangement here a studio. Appreciate you. And valance, <laughs> <laughs> which is a word that I profess to not really know the, uh, the, the meaning of. 32%. Vibe is sad, depressed, and or angry. You did pretty well, Dave. You did pretty well. Uh, there's a couple of problems there. It, it's in multiple um, multiple time signatures, so it's actually in a combination of 6, 8, 9, 8, and 5, 8 from memory, so it's not four beats per measure. So that's an interesting one. We'll, we'll give it another one to give it a try here, and I'm, I'm not convinced that the loudness and the tempo is an accurate measure uh, because uh, I don't think that's right. But Plus, they vary a bit through the song, so we will see. We will see how we go. Uh, let's uh, let's do another one, shall we? So we'll go back and uh, re-dave. So we'll go back to the, the fun. And by the way, for those playing along at home, this is under the Enhance Your Music and the Dave button. And let's choose something that I happen to know is in six and eight time and is very acoustic. So let's choose my song six and eight and get Dave. By the way, Dave's image is a little brain wearing headphones, which is pretty fun. Uh, and they say, let me tell you about six and eight by Pete Johns, uh, key of A major, which is correct. Time signature is four beats per measure. So I wouldn't trust the time signature thing here because definitely not the case. BPM 130.878 is about right. Acousticness though, 35% track is an acoustic. Track isn't good for dancing. So yeah, some of these is not going to give you the most accurate view. So it's more of a fun thing. Uh, but I do like the, the energy and the, the balance <laughs> Because <laughs> this one says it's sad, depressed, or angry as well. So apparently most of my music is sad, depressed, and angry. I'm an angry young man. Or angry man, at least. Let's have some more fun. Let's have some fun with the Wheel of Playlist. Now, there's a bunch of different things. If we go to the Get Heard Now section here, there's a brand new one called the Playlister, which is uh, is, is an ultimate, it's, it's a, a premium feature. But what everyone can participate in is the Playlist Spotlight, which pits you against another artist and people get to vote on you. But the one that I think is kind of fun, just because I like spinning wheels and flashing lights, is the Wheel of Playlist. So what this is, is you choose one of your songs. I'm going to continue with my song choices. You connect up with Spotify here in DistroKid. And then what you can do is you can spin a big wheel. And what happens is this wheel determines what position your song is on the Wheel of Playlist, which is a real Spotify playlist maintained by DistroKid that is constantly updated when you, uh, you spin the wheel again. It's updated with your position. And then if someone else spins up the same number, you get knocked off and you get to spin again. I just like, I like I say, I like spinning wheels. I like flashing lights. So we're going to do this here live to tape and see, I've never got under a hundred. No, I'm 1,567. Let's spin again. You get three spins to try and find things here. 2004, we're getting worse. Uh, it'd be good if uh, big numbers were good, but we want small numbers here and we're 1,490. So the chance that someone's going to listen to this playlist and hit Song number 1490 is pretty slim, but the thing is, it's a bit of fun. And hey, if you get number one or two or three and someone finds your song and listens to it and thinks it's cool, that's a cool thing. Again, more for the fun aspect than for something that's actually seriously going to help you. Just a little bit, of, little bit of fun. Bring a little bit of joy into your life by spinning the wheel of playlist. Speaking of joy in your life, uh, the final one, number 10. We're going to go, again, away from the DistroKid website. And we're going to go to a website that looks a little familiar called DistroPick. Yeah, so DistroPick is an AI image generator, specifically around album artwork. So if you're just at a loss for what you want your album 
artwork to be, you can have a little bit of fun here. And yes, it has all the quirkiness of almost every other AI image generation platform. So if we wanted to search out something here, so let's 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 do what we're doing here. So man recording podcast live in bedroom while crying because apparently I'm a sad angry man let's generate an image of a man recording a podcast live in a bedroom while crying and see what distro pick comes up with because it could be interesting and I know those on the audio version are sitting there going um, this isn't really going to work for me so what have we got yes we have a man he's looking a bit sad there's a microphone and his hand is removed so exactly as you'd expect from something that does this sort of thing. We can we can re-spin the wheel, we can generate a new image. Uh, there's, there's a bunch of different styles we can choose from. So if we went to, again, and we went with a, a painted style, um, and we'll just, we'll remove the while crying, and we'll say, while very happy. Let, let's end on a happy note, shall we? So now we've got man recording podcast live in bedroom while very happy, and we've done it in a paint style here. So we can see what this is going to do. And you can see there's trending tabs here. You can see what other people are doing. Wow, it's created a pretty interesting picture, to be honest. I'm going to save that one. I'm, I'm, that may come in handy at some point. It's like a man painting himself, or is he looking into a mirror? It's all very abstract. It's got some nice brush strokes on there. Looks a bit like a Van Gogh kind of painting there. So yeah, a little bit of fun there. If you're absolutely at a loss for what you should do, and you're trying to work out some album artwork, then that is something that you can play around with. Now, have we really dived into everything that DistroKid has to offer? No, because they have a heap of other features. To name just a few, they have Mixia, which is their mastering service. Now, it's an additional $99 a year, but it is super, super good. There is DistroVid, which allows you to release music videos, and you can find that under the hood here if you go into DistroVid. There's the brand new band Zoogle, which is like a website creation tool. So DistroKid like to try different things. They put themselves out there there and they're always trying new things and I think DistroVid even may have a discount uh, at the moment so there's quite often discounts for not only DistroKid to release your music and get 7% discount using my code but DistroVid often has discounts of up to including 30% off for releasing videos if you want to release those high quality videos out there to the world and there's a heap more under the hood here there's your stats there's the ability to go to your bank you can see all the finite detail of every every stream and every purchase across all the different platforms is a heap of stuff under the hood in DistroKid. So hopefully, if you're already a DistroKid user, maybe there was one, two or three things in there that you weren't aware of that you want to go and have a little play with now that you know about them. And if you haven't already discovered the joy that is DistroKid, then go and check that out. Now, this video, this week podcast is not specifically sponsored by DistroKid, but they are a channel sponsor. They sponsor my Your Music Live show each and every week. And if you do want to have your song featured, if you've done your work, if you've created your music and released it using DistroKid or another platform, then you can uh, submit a song to Your Music Live. Just go to studiolivetoday.com slash YML and you can be part of the fun. That is going to do it for this week's podcast. I hope you got some value out of this one. If you did and you're watching the video version, thumbs up because the sun's up. And if you're listening on the audio version, you can leave a review on your pod catcher or feeder of choice. As we say at the end of each and every show around here, please, folks, be kind to yourself, be kind to others, keep creating, and I'll see you next time right here on the Studio Live Today podcast.